Looking to buy, I hope. Having a look. Is that okay? Need some gas, Deke? Uh, looks like you could use it. Don't beat her up too bad. Okay. All right. Whatever you need, I got it. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride... No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I hit me in infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. It 
If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast, one giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addie. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? The Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just wanted out of our duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. No, 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 no. But this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Uh, oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out.
use this. Come here, touch this. Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. <laughs> Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep. That's it. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. I any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here. Boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. There. 
Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. Yeah, it's been a while, but I remember. Good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? I don't know. You just, um, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. That kind of reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. What? No, hey. Hey. Come on, we gotta get moving.
Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, I'm not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Cab! Iron Mike has Red a treaty! Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Aren't you? Well, you don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? out here happy, yeah? Huh? Up. Isn't that what you want? You then I'll just go straight to hell. Oh, yeah, nice little down there for you, huh?
think it's the last of them. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. That's right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who's are talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? OK, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. 
Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or we're staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, the cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear it because we wear it. You want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, let's just say that it's one of the Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw the Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I used to be a cop. Yeah, well, I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment, and all. But it got bad fast. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Looting, which started. See you around. So close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister.
Just like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? No, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. told me seems legit. Nero's out here or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Ah, I need fuel. This is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Tuck, hey. Okay. I'll see if I can make time. Deacon out. Deacon, when you get time, swing by the camp. A job's come up. Ricky, yeah. Okay, I'll be... Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You... You went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Deke. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? I used to be a cop. You're welcome, Deke. Ricky not. out. Farewell. 
think we had it pretty good with training equipment and all. But it got bad hey. fast. Hey, Blair. It wasn't just the looting, which started almost over. Mm, yeah, good. It was everything. People just going nuts. Mm, that should work. That looked even a little crazy. Uh, yep. That they were just as bad. Uh, you would come back soon, huh? I ended up putting... Oh, what's up, man? Hello. <laughs> Got some ears here, okay. That's it for now. Alright, later, man. I started to get him out, check on him, you know? They were infected. Forever a day or two, will ya? Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I've seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake shore is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. The hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find him. Deacon, thank you so much. Hey, man. St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. Funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but uh. Now hold on, here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Hey, Ricky, what else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girls' family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon out. Okay, the girls are fishing. Oh shit, Marauders. 
Christ Jesus. Hey, hey, I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. No, oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on, with me. 
No, no, no. I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. Use this. That did it. Ricky, I found her alive. Pops down a whole string of your ears. Thank God. Look, she wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. What can I get for you? On fuel, huh? Bike's a real guzzler. Ah, I rode this one hard. Okay then. Yeah, okay. Thanks for stopping by. What do you want? Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? He used to ride for us. Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden, yeah. I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But, oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Ah, oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Bet you're here for your bike, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Yeah, Mike, I'm here. Look, you told me what you've done, saving Gabby and all. I just, I just wanted to thank you. Just, oh! Someone's here. Ricky told me what you done. <laughs> Ricky told me what you done, saving Gabby and all. <laughs> Sure, Mike, yeah. I, uh, just wish that I could have gotten to Abigail in time. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Deke. I'm glad you're on our side. Mike out. Renegades, oh, goddammit, don't let them see me! All right, Rick the Prick, Marsden, where the hell are you? Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. 
Tucker. On your side. And Mark looks like he gathers up the goddamn one on me. They got him. They got him. See you, Ricky. Okay. What were you saying? Doesn't surprise me. He always seemed like the kind of man to attract every dirtbag out in the shit. You want me to send out right? What was he wearing? Same thing he always wore, one of those black cross down to the knees, cowboy hat. Bring me his hat. More holes in it than that. This way he's dressed like an ass. I got it, St. John out. I got ya! Hit him with your bike! Knock him off his bike! Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary if you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I was going to stop to talk to you. Yeah, okay. Open it up. He's okay. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Zanny. Keeping your hands clean? Come back soon. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. What do you want? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. Hey, Deacon. How's life as a camper, Al Kai? Okay. Same as ever? This will do you good out there. Here. Good as new. Here you go. Come by if you still need something. 
Let me know if you need anything else. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Zanny. Guys burned out in this a few weeks back. No. Here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? Oh, look at us. Yes, your bike's drained, Deke. Need fuel? I'll be here, be here if you late. need me. Later. Try to make Trevor a day or two, will ya? Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Who's that? How you okay. doing? I'm having a blast. Love it here. Later. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah. Hold on, I'll get him. When he stopped by, he seemed, I don't know, angry, depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. A lot to him. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured... If I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants who prepared and stored for few... Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. 
We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves. <laughs>